Welcome back to Lifestyle Live, everybody. Okay, quirky and kinky. Not necessarily talking about Patty right here, but rather the movie she's going to review today on Patty's Picks. Oh, darn. I like quirky and kinky. I mean, I feel like that still goes with you, though. <laughs> okay, here we go. Are you ready? I'm ready. All right, uh, the movie is Amsterdam, and it boasts full screen at the start of the film that this film is partially based on fact. That also implies that a lot of it is just made up, too. <laughs> Uh, oh boy, it's a murder mystery with three friends trying to find the killers and the motive, and then they also become suspects. Without and then there are a couple of love stories, too. Oh boy. David O. Russell wrote, directed, and produced this camaraderie comedy that takes place in the 1930s and highlights fascism after World War I as a seed then is planted for Nazi Germany and another war is coming. Mm. Not hard to see the parallels with today's conflicting politics there. Uh, Christian Bale is the soldier who's also a doctor and loses his eye. And there's a lot to see oh. yeah, here. <laughs> so you did there. If you do, it'll be a cakewalk. These are dangerous times. You be careful. I'm about to do something that could cost me my life. The cuckoo is in the nest and the cuckoo's about to be trapped. Cuckoo. Patty, yes. no shortage of stars in this one. That, that is very, very true, and they all did a good job. Runs two hours and 14 minutes, okay. if you're counting. I always count the minutes, too. <laughs> Rated R, there's some violence and there's some blood there. Okay. Uh, let's also talk about the notables, the actors. Oh, you yes. Saw. Uh, you saw in there, uh, we have Mike Myers in there, Robert De Niro, mm. uh, Taylor Swift. Woo! Yes. Okay. And Chris Rock. All right. What, what was... Oh, Chris oh. Rock. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, my gosh. I got in trouble for that. <laughs> Amsterdam, no, he doesn't get slapped in this movie. Amsterdam is like a turkey with too much stuffing, and there's too many plots. You get brain freeze. I love the old cars, mm -hmm. and I love the uh, the costumes. That was great. So I'm going to give it three out of five stars. It's just okay. kind of fair, in okay. my opinion. Okay. It could have been great, but it was fair. Mm -hmm. So uh, it's kind of the sizzle fizzled a little bit for me. I, I think the bar gets set. When you see all those stars, the bar gets set, like, super high, so yeah. it can only, like... I like a high bar, <laughs> go too. Down. Yeah, yeah. 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 What's up to that? I love it. that slap. It was, that was the cutest little agree. slap I've ever had in my life. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh! Well, Patty, thank you so much. Thank That's you. Always, okay, always fun. we got someone coming in here. Yeah, come on over here. Just walk this way, and we have got the Heartland Film Festival yes. is underway, and uh, one of the selections premiering tomorrow evening at Newfields is Rally Caps. It's an independent film about a young boy who suffers a serious injury, playing baseball, hoping to gain his confidence back. He then joins a youthful baseball camp uh, and met, meets a hard-of-hearing player with a cochlear implant oh, and wow. a hearing aid, just like I have, who becomes his best friend. Mm -hmm. Meet the writer of the book, Co oh, well, here's the book. I gotta hold the book. Hold the book. There you go. Hold the book. The producer, co-producer of the film is Jody Michelle Cutler. We just met, but we have a lot in common, too. Yeah. Tell us about the, the, uh, the plot, because you have a personal interest in this as well. First of all, I'm so excited to be here with you because <laughs> oh. I read all about you. Uh oh, uh oh, don't believe everything, Reed. I followed <laughs> everything that you've done and how you've you persevered, and I think you're amazing. Mm -hmm. Also, you're the first person to interview me, and you have a cochlear implant, wow. and for yeah. me, that's kismet. Okay. Uh, what your son has is hard of hearing. Okay, I've, I've been sleeping with my Heartland International Film Festival oh. pass because uh, our journey started out when I moved to Italy in um, in 1997 okay. with my son and uh, he was diagnosed with profound hearing loss mm. in Italian by a doctor who spoke only Italian oh, and I didn't understand a word she was saying and so mm -hmm. it's been quite a journey from there to here and uh, and these are a couple of the actors here in the in the, in the movie yes which I saw it's a wonderful family film and it, it also oh, there's Judd Hirsch is in it as well okay yeah. Judd Hirsch oh, who, yeah. as you know is is amazing in the Fablemans uh, was phenomenal he plays my pop and then <laughs> Amy Smart is just exceptional and the most, even more surreal than this, was seeing Amy Smart act in a scene where she was playing me, mm -hmm. and and acting in a in a situation that actually I lived in my life. Right. So we have, uh, well, as if you can see, one of the most important parts for me was having representation mm -hmm. of a a deaf 
individual who uses cochlear implant right, with yeah. listening and spoken language wow. because nowadays anything is possible thanks to technology. Mm -hmm. Our partners in the film, uh, Advanced Bionics, has a bright blue cochlear implant. So you can see it. See mine? I tried to blend it yeah, in you a little to blend bit it with, yeah, with, with, my, with my <coughs> colored hair. And it's uh, so important yeah. to have visibility because we're trying to smash stigma. Mm. Another part of the movie which we love is that the main character, which is based on an experience my dad lived of getting hit by a baseball bat, mm. suffers intense anxiety and panic attacks. And a lot of our children nowadays are dealing with anxiety, yep. especially after COVID. Oh, yeah. yeah. But it's acceptability, especially when you're a kid and you're growing up and you're, you know, trying to figure out what life is all about. Yeah. And if you have hearing loss, that makes it even more difficult. Amazing. Luckily, I don't have to, you know, hide it anymore. I wasn't yeah. born with it. I have Meniere's disease, struck in 1987. Yes. But I can tell you how, how challenging it is. Now, the movie you can see, Rally Caps, is on tomorrow night mm -hmm. at Newfields. Okay. Correct? Also, Carson Meniere, who is the actor who plays Jordy, who's like an amazing Disney actor, is going to be there to sign autographs, as are oh, all of the Rally Caps team members. Oh, and gosh. James Lowe, who is is coach ball game we are we have been so blessed and the people <laughs> of indianapolis have been so kind I love it. and there's so much to look forward to guys check it all out yeah. it feels hit that qr code for more information Jody, one more thing please i know i know we are running out of time but hurry we're, we're fast, having free fast. hearing screenings okay. from the the center for deaf and hard of hearing education that they're allowing us to have in collaboration with a lot of hearing loss associations of Indianapolis on the 9th. So please come and get your hearing checked. We're trying to promote awareness. Okay. Thank, Thank you, you so much. much. Let's do that all over again so I can hear it. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Amber, uh, over to you. She was just lovely. Thank you guys so much.